What's going on guys? It's TDN here and uh, this is going to be a weird video. So I have purchased a gaming laptop that will be replacing my current desktop that is at the moment on the floor currently unplugged um, from the entire setup. I, I just wanted to make a video of me like unboxing it and setting it up and just showcasing it. Just like a, I guess it's just you know showing what's going on with me and just trying try to make some type of content um, all for the next four days and I'm just I'm just kind of bored waiting for it. Let me start off by saying this. It was supposed to be here yesterday. Today is Wednesday the 27th uh, at like 10.30, 10.45. I don't, I don't really know what time it is. And so yesterday I was waiting for it. And normally I'm like, I'm super excited when I'm getting like cool shit. So I'll be like plastered to that window right there. And like the road is right out there. So I can see the road literally from where I'm sitting right now. So I was waiting. I got up at like eight in the morning yesterday. I was waiting for this thing to come and i've been waiting for it for like two weeks it took forever to ship and then it took a week to get here so i've been waiting for it for a while and yesterday i woke up i rewired a couple of wires because it has like certain ports that i didn't have yet so i bought wires for it so i can put my uh my double monitor display which i'll show later it gets here right well, the UPS guy gets here around like 1:40 or something like that. I'm 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 excited. I'm li I'm sitting I'm I'm standing in the living room. I have to sign for this package. So I'm waiting for him to walk up to the door, and then a, a, about a minute goes by, and then he drives away. I was like, I didn't hear a knock. Sometimes they don't make me sign for it, even though it says it. So maybe he just dropped it off. So I open the door. He's not there, and the package isn't there. And I look across the street, and there is now a note on the opposite house's. Uh, window door thing there has been nobody living in that house for the past four years uh the house number is about one number off my the actual number to that house is literally sitting on a fucking post like a giant wooden post stuck in the ground with huge white and green letters so this man looked at that number was like that's it walks over there knocks on the door there's never going to be anybody home ever both, I'm, I'm literally the only house on the street that actually has people in it. So, I was really pissed. I was really fucking pissed. I've been waiting for it all day. I took my whole setup apart. I unplugged everything. My desktop is on the floor. The M.2 SSD is out of it because that's where all my games and Photoshop overlays and textures and documents and stuff are. So, I took that out and my fucking computer is sitting on the floor. So, I can't exactly just plug it in and use it because there's no space. I, I redid it. So, there's really nothing I could do. So I was really pissed. So I, I'm frantic. I called UPS and I ended up getting patched to a lady somewhere not here. Not not in Pennsylvania. I know that. I told her the situation. I'm like, listen, this guy uh, went to the wrong house, knocked on the door, attempted delivery at the wrong house, and then drove away. So she, she said she would call the, the UPS place that he was coming from. So I, okay. I was like, okay, fine. And hopefully if he's still in the area, he can turn around. I was like, well, it's been a a minute or two i doubt i'm the only house he, he has to be like right there so she was like they're gonna call you so just keep stay on the line uh, stay next to your phone it's like okay a couple minutes go by maybe like five or ten minutes go by and i get a call and it's from the lady from the uh actual place that the the trucks come from uh and she was like hi uh you're uh we heard you had a complaint i'm like no i don't have a complaint i have a well, i guess i do have a complaint but i also have like uh hey uh your guy fucked up bad uh and i was standing at the uh, i told her i was like i was standing at the door i was waiting he went to the complete wrong house knocked on the door left a note on that house's door and then trope away and i was standing here waiting for the package the whole time what can we do about this and she's like well i called him and told him that he he attempted delivery at the wrong place or whatever i, I don't remember exactly what she said he said that he was too busy and he couldn't turn around and i was like okay and she's like but he said you can meet him and i'm like how do i meet him i don't know where the fuck he is and, and she's like well currently his location is on this road the road in question is like literally right there like if i was walking it would take maybe like two or three minutes but in a truck it would take you like two or three seconds and apparently he had just turned onto this road so i'm like well can you tell him and he, he's literally right there i don't understand why he can't turn around she's like i don't know um but you can go meet him and i'm like is he gonna stop i don't have a car am i gonna chase this man down i need this laptop because i have to set it up 
and make sure I have everything set up for when I actually have to start working in a couple of days. Uh, and I also wanted to test it out. It was my days off. I was excited. I was going to play, uh, test some games and stuff and test like how Photoshop runs on it and everything. This is my desktop replacement. Like this is going to replace my workstation. I get my jacket on. She's like, he's on that street. He just turned on that street. I'm like, all right, I don't have a car, but I guess I'll have to run. So I get my shoes on, I get my jacket on and I just start sp just booking it down, down the hill over here. This is the way it goes. So this is the road. So this road goes uh, this way. So that goes down to a hill that goes down that way. So I have to go down the hill, make a left, well, a right, sprint down a pretty long street, and then make an, a right, go up a hill, and then this next right is where he should be. I start sprinting. So I'm like, I gotta get this fucking laptop, dude. In reality, I should have just asked my uncle if he could just drive me onto this road and we can just go down it and see but i was just like i can't catch up to him so i ran uh and i got to so i got down this long uh, the, the long street i was talking about i got to the a second hill it's not really like a super long hill it kind of just goes up gradually i slow down i stop because i'm like i'm almost there so i slow down a little bit and i start walking and i'm catching my breath and like two bikers are passing by me and as soon as they pass by i'm like all right and i just i i, I try sprinting faster and like quick, more quick. I guess I ran, like I was doing something wrong with my legs and I lost balance and I can feel my weight pulling me forward. I went so off balance, dude. And I, it's one of those, when you see like heavy set people running and you see them slowly start tilting forward as they're running and they just like fucking slam into the ground. So that happened to me. I had my phone in my hand because I was she said she would call me. The lady said she would call me back if she saw in a couple minutes that it didn't say it was delivered. So I had my phone in my fucking hand. I had sweatpants on. I couldn't put this heavy-ass Galaxy Z Fold 3 in my pocket because my pants would uh, fell down. I couldn't put it in my jacket because the pockets are too shallow. So I had it running in my hand. I didn't have my case on because I've been home for like a month. So I had no reason to have the case on. It's I have carpet everywhere. So I'm running and I fall like so fucking hard. And I go, I go, like I put my hands down just... Normally, you would put your hands down when you're falling that hard, or just any time you're falling. And I slam into the ground, and I kind of roll so I don't hurt myself as much. So then I, 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 get, I, I sit up a little bit, and I look at the back of my phone, and the bottom on the back of my phone is cracked and, like, smushed a little bit. I'm like, oh my god, this is a fucking $1,700 phone. Oh my god. I definitely scrape my knee, and I definitely hurt my shin from like too much pressure on it or something. So I, I walk, I, I just like brush it off. I get up and I, I start running up, up the hill again. I get back, I get onto the, the second street on the right. He's nowhere to be seen. I walk this, and this road is long as shit. The name of this road goes on for a while. And I didn't think of that. Like, I didn't think like, oh, wait a minute. This road in question goes on for a long time. Like it goes through the, I live in a community and this road goes pretty far in. It's It, it spans like several blocks. So I just start. Uh, I'm not running down this street. I start walking. I'm calling the lady. I'm calling the lady. I call her at least eight or nine times. She never called me. Still has never called me back. Nowhere to be seen. I'm hurt. My shins hurt. My knee hurts. I'm very upset. I just start walking back. I get I get like five blocks into this road and I'm like, he's not here. So I turn around. Then it starts pouring rain. So now I, at this point, I'm so upset. I don't even care. I'm not like sprinting to get back out of the rain. I'm walking. I get back. I'm so upset. And I just like, I, I'm just... The day is ruined. Like, I really, like, I woke up so happy yesterday. And if you're watching this and you follow me on Twitter, you'll see that I, I was posting a lot yesterday. I was very happy. It, that just instantly ruined my day. I was in pain. I was soaked. I was pissed off. I was sad. So I just kind of laid down. I ordered, ordered some McDonald's to, like, <laughs> this is the reason probably why I fell over. Because I ordered McDonald's to make myself feel better. So I have a plan today. Uh, sorry for that whole rant. I have a plan today to... Uh, basically, the whole thing was, I don't know if he knows, if it's the same driver, if he delivered it to the wrong house, because she was, she, the lady on the phone was like, oh, he must have delivered it to the wrong house because he read the number wrong. And I'm like, but you just got off the phone with him. So how do I know she talked to him or called him and told him that he got the wrong address? How does he, does he even know that he did? Because I think she just thought that I was standing at the door or I wasn't available when he knocked on the door and I was available right after, but that's not what I said. So the lady I talked to initially relayed wrong information to her. So my plan today is I got up early and it's out for delivery. I have my window open and listening. I have my curtains drawn so I can see the road. And I'm just kind of, kind of just sitting here listening. I'm not really doing much because I want to pay attention. Just in case he tries to fuck up again. I'm going to, I have my shoes literally sitting right there. 
behind the camera and I'm going to as soon as I see him coming down the street because I saw it yesterday or if I hear the honk I'm going to get my shoes on and I'm just going to run outside I don't care if he's already coming down my driveway or if he's going to the other house I'm going to get this fucking laptop that's what's going to happen so stay tuned for that I'm going to show you guys that this is probably going to be a long video but I'm bored and I want to I want to showcase this uh to this stupid time of day and stupid time in my life right now where it was supposed to be so simple to just get this fucking laptop and set it up and I was so excited about it. But hopefully, within the next two or three hours, I will have this laptop. And no matter what, I'm going to, as soon as I hear the truck, I'm running outside. I don't care if I have to walk right up to his fucking truck. Like, I'm getting this shit. Do your job properly. <laughs> so yeah, I will see you guys uh, in a little bit. So, uh, we have the laptop. Uh, so I'm going to open it and while I'm opening it on camera for you guys I'm going to be telling you guys like the specs and everything and why I decided to go with a laptop and replace my current desktop All right, there we are. Uh, sorry if this angle is a little weird I don't really have anything to prop my phone up on and I'm sorry if the camera quality is a lot worse than it was before It might be no different. I, I don't have anything else to, to record on so sorry. What is this? This is a MSI GE66 Raider um, It is a high-performance gaming laptop it has an, an i7 11800H 8 core processor, a 3070 laptop version GPU, still very powerful though, uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, and a 1 terabyte NVMe SSD. I am going to be upgrading it to 32 gigs later on. I just thought that this was a good sweet spot to start with. So, why. This is not cutting well at all. Why am I replacing my current gaming desktop? my workstation where we use what i use for work and gaming and everything with a gaming laptop well so let's go off the specs for my desktop real quick it is a um ryzen 5 2600x six core it has 32 gigabytes of ram uh one terabyte currently ssd and a gtx 1080 um and all, all that's really good but ever since i started working from home about a month ago like doing photoshop and I found myself getting trapped in my room and feeling trapped in my room. So I wanted to change a pace. I want to be able, like when I'm doing Photoshop or something, to be able to go on my porch or my, at my kitchen table or in my living room and do some work. When it comes to th uh, audiobooks and stuff, it's going to have to be in here. It gives me versatility. I can travel with it. My entire workstation is on the go. And it just makes it, it makes me feel like I have options, I guess. And it's also just a beast. So let's open this up. And there is the laptop. I'm sorry this is not like super good quality unboxing, but this is more for just like memories, just to show where I was at at the point at this point. Jesus Christ, if that's the power rick, this thing is fucking heavy. Like, holy shit. Oh yeah, that's the power brick. This thing is fucking heavy. But that's the reason why I, I just, I wanted, I wanted the option. To change everything about my workstation i wanted to be able to take it wherever i go i don't have a car right now but when i do not only will i not only am i now able to work in my living room or in my kitchen or on my porch when it's a nice nice out or I'll go over to my parents house when they're hanging out and i can bring it uh, or something i can I, I never have to worry about work i can game wherever i want i can take this to a friend's house and we can game like wherever we want it's just I need that option and when I do get a car I could take this to a coffee shop or something and just work for an hour or two on the battery. Uh, so without further ado, I should take this out. The reason I went with this specific model is because it has, I forgot to also mention, it has a 240 hertz 2K panel. The screen is fast. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little setup tour later on in the video once I'm done like unboxing this fully. And I'll show you like my monitors and stuff, my new built desk that I built myself and everything. I'll show you guys that. Uh, but this is the MSI GE66 Raider Gaming Workstation. I wanted this laptop so bad because of I.O. It has so many fucking ports on it. So we have, this is a mini display port to, uh, I have a mini display port uh, to display port cable for my ultra wide. On my desk, this is a USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 compatible. Um, and this is a gigabit ethernet uh, port. This is HDMI 2.1, I believe. And this is your DC output for uh, power. On this side, we have a USB uh, Type-A 
and I think it's either one or two of them is uh, Gen 2, no, Gen 3.1, and one of them is Gen 3.2. I don't remember what the specs exactly are, uh, but I will be leaving a description to this exact model in the description in case any of you guys want to actually check it out. Uh, we have another USB Type-C port on here, uh, and we have a audio combo jack for your mic and your headphones. The other side is, like I was mentioning, there's two more. I think it's actually 3.1 for these two, and I think the other side is 3.2. Uh, and then this is your um, SD card reader. There's so many ports on it, and it's basically just like a tiny desktop. It is a little heavier than I thought it would be, but that's okay. It looks so nice, though. I'm so excited for this. So yeah, I'm going to set this up. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video after I set the, the whole laptop up. Like I'll show, show you guys a clip after I set it up. And then once everything is wired and I have everything connected to my setup in general, I will show you the finished product and then that's where we'll end it. So here it is guys, the MSI GE66 Raider. Like I said, it has an i7 um, 11800H processor it's eight cores rtx 3070 sorry i'm, I'm like my brain's all scattered uh it is the next day when i am filming this so this is a weird angle i know i basically i got the laptop i opened it i started setting everything up i had some wiring issues when it came to my actual desk setup so this is uh but this is what we have so i installed some stuff on it i got subnautica i got uh battlefield 4 uh hunt showdown cold war fortnite stuff like that i did some test just to see how everything ran cold war at high settings uh with dlss on is i think it was at 80 fps to 90 fps when plugged in and uh 60 fps when not plugged in everything else ran amazing uh fortnite runs at like 110 120 fps on epic ray tracing turned on uh, but this thing is just so nice so cool i love it so um, I'm going to dock this for you guys uh, at my desk. Then I'm going to basically put everything together as it should be. And then give you guys a quick setup tour of my desk and everything that's basically I use in my room as my office and like entertainment space. So, all right. So setup reveal in three, two, one. This is my desk setup. So I'm going to go through everything uh, for you. Basically, this is my setup. I can't show you this whiteboard that's here because uh there's important information for my work on it so uh that i don't feel like sharing uh so if it gets put in i'll, I'll blur it out but basically uh we have my wall here uh it's a little off centered because of the way i did it all of the things here don't line up with the the panels at the bottom so this is a harry potter canvas panel i got for my birthday uh these are the vinyls i currently have on display uh Couple Lincoln Parks, Pentatonix, uh, Panic at the Disco, Elton John. I have a platform nine and three quarters plaque, I guess. I got it from Walmart a couple years ago for like 10 bucks. It's like all wood and stuff. It's really nice. That is a, a flash wood burning thing that my uncle did. He does wood burnings uh, and he has done a couple actually. I can show you that he actually made my office one for uh, TDN Inc. It's uh, it's clear coated and stained and everything. It's really nice. Let's, uh, let's go on to the uh, whole desk thing. So this desk right here, this is a piece of wood that I got from Lowe's. Uh, it was, I didn't cut it or anything. It was just, it came this length. I think it's 48 by 24. It's just a piece of wood. I stained it with um, red mahogany and I clear coated it. It's also sanded as well. So you can see there's actual like a kind of, there's a shine to it. So you can, so it's clear coated. It, you know, I could spill things on it, random stuff, my keys, my remote for my top monitor, the knife I was using. To open up the box this right here is a dowin i don't know how to say it dowinix i guess leather gaming racing chair it was about 215 dollars on wayfair we got my two monitors here this is a 34 inch curved uh ultra wide at 100 hertz it's 2k so it's 1440p i love this monitor it's perfect for productivity I love it so much. It's by Viotech. I will leave a link in the description to this monitor. I love it so much. It was only like 350 bucks for an ultra wide. That's really good. Uh, this top one is a 27 inch Samsung smart monitor. Uh, so it has smart TV features. That's why there's a remote for it here. So I can actually, it controls the TV and it has like Netflix and everything built in. Both of these peripherals, the mouse and the keyboard are from on. I do want to upgrade them. This is a $40 mechanical keyboard. It's like a $30 mouse. The reason I want to replace it is because one of the keys only displays in red no matter what I do. So yeah, it comes with a little magnetic wrist rest. I like them. I c it could be better. I should definitely upgrade it because I'm upgrading everything in my setup. So another thing about this desk is that it is 
placed on top of a standing desk frame. I just bought the frame and uh, screwed this onto it. And the best part about the desk is probably the cable management. I spent a couple hours uh, once I finally got this desk screwed in and everything. One ender, it's a little mangled under here. I do want to rewire it a little bit better. Um, it looked better the other day before I had the laptop, but I had to do some special on the spot wiring to try to get the laptop dock to work better uh, with what I had, because this was configured for a desktop PC, so everything was wired that way. So you can see there's a couple wires hanging down. Um, I really want to like clip some of these closer to the table, because uh, they were flush with the table, but it's, uh, it's a little bit mangled now. This is basically so I can stand up while I'm working, so I'm not sitting down all the time to get some blood flow going, you know? Oh, my headphone wire is tangled. Oh God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Put it up to around 38 and then it is perfect height to to work at. So this is my uh, microphone that I use for audiobooks and narration and streaming. Basically anytime I'm talking to anybody on Discord, everything is done with the Samson Q9U. Uh, it also has a Samson mount. I needed to get this mount because this mic is extremely heavy. Uh, it's a USB and XLR combo mic. Currently have plugged into USB in the back here. I did have it plugged into an interface, but my interface apparently just drew too much power and it like it it was messing up my computer, so I had to get rid of it. So for now, I'm on USB. Uh, it still sounds great. If you guys have listened to my audio stuff, this is what it like. Anything I did on the channel for the last year came from this anyway. So clearly, it's a great mic. Love this thing. <laughs> my headphones are a pair of Audio Technica M40Xs. They're about a hundred bucks. I love these. They are studio monitoring headphones. So they're made for clarity and everything and separating audio so I can hear the mouth clicks and the, the random sounds that come in when I'm recording. Uh, and I do music as well, so it's perfect for that. So let's come around here. So as I'm sitting here installing my editing software to actually edit this, uh, I forgot to actually show off my webcam. This is a 1080p ProStream by Logitech. I love this webcam. It's great. Uh, it was like 50 or 60 bucks. And it works great when you have like the right tools you can actually make it look really good so uh yeah forgot forgot to uh forgot to show that off it's a powerful little guy the one thing about this setup that i'm not happy with yet because i don't have the things i need for it i need a dock a proper dock for this thing because as you can see it's a little ghetto rigged all my displays outputs are on the top here i have an ethernet over there that co comes in over here i have the power that has to stay there on the side here I have all this and kind of see my headphones are plugged in there and a USB hub is plugged in back there. What I want to do is I want to get this thing I saw on Amazon. It has connections for a display port, two HDMIs that go up to 4K. It has a headphone jack. It has uh, four or five USB ports. So if I get that and it goes through USB type C. So all I would have to do is plug it in to one of the type C connectors on the back or the side. And then anytime I want to take this out of its dock, I just unplug the power and then unplug the type C because it also has ethernet. So I would only have two plugs ever plugged into this at any time. And then I would just unplug those and take it. So for right now, it's okay. It works. It's a little annoying, <laughs> not gonna lie, but um, I I'm okay with it for now. I I'll, I'll get it in like a week anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, I have, so, and this is why I also, I I'm really not happy with it because I can't really cable manage any of this shit because of how it's configured. So it looks a little mangled in the back, which I'm very upset with because it looked so good, not, two days ago. So basically this is what it looks like when you're standing or sitting in front of it. It's really nice. I'm very happy with it. This is a, um, a Vivo vertical mount for your monitors, but it holds both of them really nice. I love it. It's nice. It, it, it does kind of look like it's angled weird. So it, it looks like it might hurt, but that's why I have this pillow. So my neck doesn't hurt. And when you're standing at it, it doesn't really bother you. So yeah, that's what it, it is when it's docked. Uh, so I guess the last little part of my room that I use on a day-to-day -day basis is my uh, my 4K Samsung smart TV that I use. Uh, and I have this um, glass triple-decker TV mount, so it's mounted on that pole right there. You kind of see that there's some wiring going on back here and everything. Uh, there's an RGB strip that's also, it's the same RGB strip that's around the back of my desk. So I trimmed the desk one so it would only be on the back. They're both controlled by my phone. And this one is usually, I think it's always in sync with that one, with the colors. So yeah, I, I love, I love this thing. I love the RGB strip. I did a little bit of wiring back there, 
like there's a cable sleeve and everything, but it keeps poking out. I might have to get a thinner thing to, to work with, but there's my wall of stuff. All my pops, all my figurines, all my collectibles. If you're wondering why there's a Coke can and a Coke bottle, it's because this is New Coke. It's when Stranger Things did that promotion uh, for New Coke. So I got, like, I got a couple. I tried one, and then I just kept one. And then this is a thing I found in a, like, an antique shop, which is a 1993 or 94 uh, Coke bottle with a, a Tony Stewart. Guy. I don't know NASCAR, so I don't. <laughs> and I got a bunch of stuff. I got comics aligned around the wall. So that is basically everything in uh, in my setup. Uh, I'm happy I got to show you guys. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. Uh, and I hope, you know, it was somewhat informative. I hope there wasn't anything I missed out on. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know this video was a little weird. I just felt like I wanted to do something like this. I, I've been want, like I said, I've been wanting to do something like this for a, a long time. So, uh, yeah, I might post a little quick video when I get the dock to show you how easy it is uh, to unplug it and everything. But uh, I'm probably going to go play some games because I have a sick ass laptop behind me. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I, uh, I don't know when I'll see you guys again, but...